Hi, Will from Music Tech here at the AES convention in New York with Freddie from Nugent Audio. Freddie, Hi. can you tell us what Sigmod is exactly and what's new with it? Sure. Uh, so Sigmod is kind of a, I describe it as a utility belt plugin. It's a modular plugin that has 12 different single process modules, um, which all do kind of one simple task. You can put them in any kind of order or configuration. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is things that, depending on what door you're using, might be missing from the channel strip. Okay. So it has like a, a mid-side encoder and decoder, which mm -hmm. means you can use any stereo or, or multi-mono plugin in mid-side mode. Uh, it also has like a, a simple phase flip, a mono checker, stuff that, for example, isn't in the channel stripping Pro Tools, and depending yep. on what door you are using, may or may not be there. Um, but the latest thing we've added is an update to the insert module. Um, do you want me to chat, uh, chat about that? Yeah, please. Sure. Uh, so previously, the insert module just allowed you to host third-party VST3 plugins within SIGMOD. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the insert module. So that means you could run VST plugins in Pro Tools, which would yes. otherwise just use AAX. Exactly, plugins, that's right. right. Um, we've now added in functionality so that it also hosts VST2 and AU plugins as well. Um, so if you insert the, the insert module into SIGMOD, then you uh, can kind of scroll through the menu here. This is showing all the AU, VST2, and VST3 plugins I've got installed on my machine. We've added in a search bar, which is really useful because previously you were just kind of scrolling through endless menus. Right. So say, I don't know, if I want to add something in, um, like a chorus. So for instance, if you if there are old plugins that you loved using and you're now in Pro Tools or you're now in a newer version of your exactly. DAW that doesn't support VST2 anymore. Yeah, it means that you can now use, use those older plugins. It's effectively kind of, I don't know, tr tripling the amount of plugins that you can use if, def depending, on, depending on what you have installed on your machine. Mm -hmm. So we've added in, um, as well as the support for VST2 and AU, it now has a wet-dry control as well, so you can kind of control what's going through Sigmod, how much of the signal is actually going to be affected. So it's basically parallel processing, but exactly. with these ancient plugins, if you want to be using them. That's right, exactly. So it's you know, really useful for if you've got some really niche plugin that you've that has fallen out of use, because yeah. yeah, like like you say, it's it's kind of outdated. You can now use it within Sigmod, um, alongside all the all the other single process modules, and you, like I say, you can kind of uh, add those in any configuration you want. So for example, you could have a mid-side encoder and decoder either side of that, so whatever VST you're using could be a mid-side, or yep. there are kind of other other bits of custom signal architecture that you can use w within Sigmod as well. So it's a really flexible tool. Um, it's not the most exciting looking plugin of ours, but, it's, but it does a lot useful, of stuff. Right? It's really, really yeah. flexible, absolutely. And uh, is this update available now? Uh, I believe so. I think it's as of this week. Um, okay. So anyone who already owns Sigmod, this is a free update. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we are doing a slightly discounted price for new customers as well. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the website, you can uh, have a look at that. And yeah. And generally, what would the price be? Uh, so ordinarily, I don't know in sterling. In dollars, in it's dollars forty-nine it's dollars. Okay, um, and I think it's twenty-nine currently for the for the new customers. So Great. really affordable. Freddie, thanks so much. No problem. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Thanks you too. a lot. Cheers.